A report published in the last hour has revealed that the polar ice caps are melting three times faster than they were 20 years ago. A team of scientists who spent the last two decades studying the ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica say they've also found evidence of the effect the melting ice is having on sea levels. On the day the government published its long-awaited energy bill containing measures to address climate change, tonight's report suggests it may already be too little, too late. As our science editor Tom Clark now reports. The planet's ice is fundamental to our future. Sea levels could rise by many metres if ice caps covering Greenland and Antarctica melt. But it's never been clear just how much, if at all, these ice sheets are melting. Until now. And we can say now for sure that both Antarctica and Greenland are shrinking as a consequence of the changes in climate that they've been exposed to. The analysis shows that both ice caps are most definitely melting. The Antarctic ice sheet quite steadily but the melting of the Greenland ice sheet is accelerating over time. So, of course, global sea levels are rising too. The study combined data from 10 different ice monitoring satellites. It found ice sheets are melting around three times faster than they were in 1992. Together, they contributed just over a centimetre to global sea levels. Hardly alarming, but the importance of this study is that it gives more certainty to predictions of how much melting there might be in a warming world. Though how much warmer it might get isn't just a question for scientists. The biggest uncertainty though, unfortunately, is the emission scenarios, what trajectory our climate will follow over the next century and not how the ice sheets will respond. So in fact, we, we're getting to a point where we know a little bit more about how our planet's going to behave than we do about how our politicians and, our, and ourselves are going to behave. I think that's, that's a fair comment. The study is published as nations convene in Doha for the annual round of global climate talks. Little real progress towards stopping carbon emissions is expected. Though at home, our climate change secretary presented his energy bill to Parliament that could start to curb emissions here. We are preparing a once-in-a-generation transformation of the energy landscape to bring on massive private sector investment which will boost the economy, create jobs and power Britain towards a prosperous, low-carbon future. Already, the energy bill has been faulted for costing consumers more without committing to meaningful reductions in carbon emissions. We remain on course for a much warmer planet by the end of the century and quite a bit less ice.